Today, I'm quickly covering a really good question that came in from a LinkedIn connection. Now, they're new. They're new to me. I don't know them. Um, obviously, I obviously connect up with people and I love to learn about new people and what they do and how they're trying to help people. So, and again, I learn just as much from you guys as I do from my peers. So when I speak to other strategists, other people in design, I learn a lot. But obviously, there's nothing that kind of helps drive things forward better than actually talking to the people that can want to learn from you and have questions. Because they're, if, some, if they're struggling with them, other people are. It's the problems that I like to solve. This is the Level Up Podcast. I'm your host, Martin Sully, a brand strategist, designer, and founder of Snapper Studio. And I'm on a mission to help you gain clarity and confidence in your brand. I'll arm you with bite-sized tips, and introduce you to friends of the show who are taking their brand to the next level. I can see exactly why this question in particular would throw any business. And part of the reason lies in around the information being gated by the branding industry and industry jargon that needs to be bust apart. The question was, when developing an effective brand strategy for a two-sided marketplace, how do you maintain a unified brand identity and consistent message that resonates effectively with both segments of the market? So to clarify the question, I asked, are you talking about having two markets but one brand or two brands that are completely separate. And they replied, absolutely, we have two target markets, but one brand. For context, one side is a disability community and the other is a disability inclusive businesses that, you know, we're connecting by one brand and their products. Um, To start, I just want to say thank you and that having two markets you speak to is actually quite common. If you have two separate audiences you need to talk to, the best thing to do is to create them a persona each. Um, And that's a bit like an expanded user profile Um, or like a bit of a, yeah, a bit of like an overview of their life. And, You can find out a lot of this information just by talking to them. Um, And it will be things like, uh, so, yeah, like their job, how old they are, Um, you know, how how much they interact with social media. That's like comes later. Other key things are like, where do they live? What sort of, uh, you know, how much money do they make? And obviously... Not everybody's going to want to share. They might want to just say, give you a rough ballpark. What do they enjoy doing? What are their current What are their current problems with? You know, whatever your product is. When if you, you know, if you briefly explain what you do, um, and they have a problem with X Y Z. You know, uh, recently with a skincare client, I had asked them what you know what were the problems that people were solving um and it was things like oh they're really time poor we just they just need a like a five minute pamper and every day they can kind of get into it and yeah they want to learn a little bit more have a little bit more education around the brand and around uh looking after their skin that's perfect like all this stuff is really good information and so When you take all that information back and if you want to read a bit more about it and the sort of questions that you can ask um, your ideal target audience, jump on. I've got a couple of 
um, episodes of the podcast, ones around um, attracting your ideal client and ones repelling them. Both of those, there's a lot of information in those. Go and listen to them. Extract the questions that you need to ask people or alternatively jump on my website, um, get some information off there. There's a couple of good blog posts on, on that on those two topics too take that um and join in that information with the brand values that you're setting out um and get an understanding of the emotional functional and philosophical benefits that you want to actually create then from all that that's how you get your message and that's how you get really clear on it you can then have content i guess that like side by side that almost talks to both groups um that integrates your brand values and the message and actually what you'll probably find is that both target markets actually actually want similar things the disability community community want connection to the benefit uh and so do the businesses that work with that community so you actually end up talking to exactly the same people there's just slight tweaks like you would probably you'd need to just um look at making sure that the language used isn't full of jargon is really simple to understand for, for both audiences and that it resonates to both so when you've worked all of that stuff out so you've got your personas you've got your brand values, the actual message you want to send. Like, all of this stuff is going to start integrating. Um, yeah, and it's really, that will be the driving force. So it's not that you're creating separate websites or separate parts of the website. You might have, like, specific pages that talk and blog posts that talk to, like, one side of the community versus the businesses you want to connect with and how you can help them it might even be that you have two separate landing pages, but you can, you can still integrate that and kind of beautifully talk to that whole community because they all want the same one thing at the end of the day. And like there is, yeah, there is a lot more to unpick, um, in this topic in itself. Um, and obviously the intricacies of finding the right message, um planning that all out like yeah there's a lot to unpick um but the messaging really should be fairly straightforward and in answering the message i guess the brand the brand identity itself shouldn't change for the audience um but it should be more of a like a vehicle to pass on your message i hope that kind of get went some ways to actually answering your question um and made it simple to understand obviously if there is a problem like feel free to reach out and we can chat and it goes for anyone see you on the next episode mm -hmm.